So I thought, as we are getting very close to FC 25, I thought we've got a few players now listed in what we can actually see rating-wise. I know technically the meta is not necessarily out, but if you've ever played FC before, if you've played all of the FIFAs, you know full well that the meta doesn't really change a crazy amount. For instance, we know Mbappe is going to be one of the top strikers, more than likely the best striker in the game. Haaland's going to be there. Virgil will definitely be one of the centre-backs. You can normally tell who's going to be at least semi-decent and how long for. For instance, if we was to have a look through a lot of these lower ones, we look at someone like Ivan Tony. We know he's had a little bit of a downgrade going into uh, the lovely Saudi league. And he probably is a, a day one striker. And maybe, yes, you could get something out of him. But realistically... He's not going to last more than a couple of days with how many packs that get open on day dot. Whereas someone like Werner, you're looking at then the Prem value. That's going to be a big thing when we're looking at a lot of these players is what league they're in. If you've ever started the game, if you, if you started FC24, as much as it definitely doesn't go on for very long, the massive amount of Prem tax that you get from the very start is incredible. You look at a semi-usable 84 to 87, they tend to have a value higher than what you normally get for any other league. That's why when you look out of the leagues in MLS, in La Liga, there's some decent options you can go for. Werner is a left wing potential. You've got the three star, four star. I think he's definitely one you could have a look at, but I wanna go with a team because now on the easy SBC website, you can actually build your very own. So it is a nice one to start with and you can kind of see what teams you'd like to build and, and where you kind of want to go with a brand new starter team looking at this rating i'm going to say 80s are going to be out there you've obviously got felix coming in now as a left wing striker interesting option obviously pace has taken a massive downgrade for him but he is a five star four star so i could definitely have him as a very beginner player but it's going to be roughly around like the 82 to 84 if you're not opening up points that you want on like at least the first couple of days. By a month now, you've normally got pretty much one of the best squads that you're going to get. It would be like the, the R9s, the Mbappes, the, the Bellinghams that would take it to that next level. So there's no such thing now really as a weekly starter squad unless you are not unless you literally just play the game for one day and then it's like every on and off sort of thing. Richarlison I mean, he could be decent, but I'm not going to say he's going to be in that top squad. We've got Rashford at 81. He's definitely going to be more expensive. And another thing to take into consideration this year is apparently, this, this is all hearsay because we've heard a lot from EA with what they want to do, but apparently Evolutions is going to be taken more and more. So it will be interesting to see, do they hold on to that? Or is it just something that they say and we get the same sort of Evolutions as always? If you're looking for FC25 coins, Lootbar have started their first subscription service. You can go onto their website and subscribe for FC25 coins, and with this you'll be sent an email that gives you an extra 5% off on your very first order. This is in addition to the 8% off coupon that is available on your one order to start with. Then from there, you have got Lubar being one of the cheapest in FC24 and then continuing to be one of the cheapest on the market for FC25. So if you need to subscribe for coins, head over to lubar.gg and get your coins now. Make sure to use the promo code JT11. Now, if we have a look through to the 82s, obviously as well, just to, to say with this SBC, I don't think they have got every single team. They've got most of the top teams by the looks of it, but it's not absolutely every player. So there might be some that come out of nowhere, but it will be interesting to see as we go forward who else gets announced because I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of them here. Abamyang, always a fan favorite. 4-4, 84, 83. It's always a great shout. He's normally a very nice, cheap and affordable one. So he's definitely one to look at. Jesus, on the other hand, 4-3. I do like that they've obviously got this ability here and that's going to be a big thing with the poacher, the target forward, the wide player maker. It's going to be interesting to see what that actually has a massive impact on or is it very much that you, you get the same players week in, week out. Boniface with a big upgrade. Again, pace-wise, not looking great. He is going to be more of a target forward. I think that one was going to be pretty much self-explanatory. But with someone like him, he will be good with a couple of informs, a special card. Base rating on him might be decent if you're looking for the kind of comparison of having 
I always kind of go with like a Walcott and a, a Crouch. Somebody who's got the shooting, maybe got a bit more strength, mainly the height of anything. It'd be like someone like a Lewandowski and Alexi Sanchez in his prime. Like you want somebody who can hold the ball up and somebody to spin off him. Boniface is going to be fantastic with that. If you want to go double up strikers with him or you want to go with wingers and you have like a Rashford and a Saka or something next to him just bombing past, there's going to be plenty of that going forward. Kolo Moane, always going to be a great one. A B plus for him, which is always nice. A target forward, great pace. Shooting with a chem style, going to be absolutely fantastic. He will be one that is definitely near the more max price on the absolute day dot. Same as Nunez. Last year, he was the exact same. This year, is going to be no different. 90 on the pace. The only thing he's not quite got is any skill move or weak foot. Three star, three star is good for the first week, but you'll definitely get tired of that very quickly. But it will be interesting if we do get a, like a, not a founder's evolution, because that was last year, but if we get that kind of pre-order, get the evolution in, you get to pick a striker. Werner, Nunez, I think you had somebody else who I cannot remember. I think I did the other person as well. Somebody else who could be up there as well in that shout. Soloff common as well okay that'd be interesting he's going to be more relevant more towards uh, the end of the year anyway like everybody same as Lukaku they they are definitely destined for an end of the game foot is absolute mad card then we go into some 83s not really seen anybody on the start of that list but we have got we got Kai Havertz Maybe as a cam, I think as as a striker, he's just not going to work. I, I don't think he's going to have that ability, in my opinion. Trossard, definitely more of a winger. We've got anybody else. Obviously, you're going to have this, the normal ones going forward. Gakpo, potential. Can we go, can we add a finisher onto him? Or is it a hunter? 90-89. I mean, that's definitely not going to be the worst. He might be a little bit more on the, the, the price side of it. Oh, I like that it takes you back straight away. Easy SBC coming for the clutch here. Well, so we got Tarum. Okay, 83. <laughs> it's like it's broken there. 83. Again, you'd go for the Hunter. Pretty much most of the strikers at the day dot is, is Hunter, chem style. Uh, you are 91 finishing, 95 pace. Again, could be a nice one. Three star, four star again. Um, then we get into the 84s. Like I said, we're not going to have absolutely every 83 here, which is an obvious one here. And Kunku, another great shout. 84 on the cam. He could be... A very early striker player, but then he's going to have to kind of go elsewhere. He would be more of your cam, maybe even like a lamb or a ram in him. Um, you got 89, 87. Again, could work. I wouldn't say he's necessarily my go-to. This is the guy. He was incredible last year. 98, 89. He's just kind of like a more souped up version of Nunez, which is going to be nice. And he does have that five-star weak foot. He's going to be one to definitely be looking at. Like the physicality's there. Obviously, he's got a decent amount of dribbling. Composure's decent enough for a starting player. He will be a fantastic person to go around. May not be crazy expensive after a week or two, but he will be one to definitely look out for. And same with Chiesa. I know he's more of a winger. Don't know if I'd quite go on the striker side of him, but another one that will cost you an absolute arm and a leg to start with. Ollie Watkins getting into the 85. Him after a couple of days could be the one to go for as a cheap striker in the Prem if you wanted rating. Like we saw with a lot of the uh, objectives where you've got to basically score, say, like 100 goals, 500 goals with an 85 rated team or an 89. He could, be, well, say more would be like 85, 86. He would definitely be one to put in on the bench or actually in the match. So he's one to definitely look at. I hate that I've got to go all the way to the bottom. So then we have got Openda. Very, very good shout. They're going for finisher for him. Agility balance up there. Obviously, the dribbling, that's fair enough as well. Three star, four star, which is enough. Obviously, we don't have no evolutions. Strength a little bit lower than I thought it'd be, to be honest. But one definitely worth looking at. Where do we go? Uh, there we are. Then we've got Jota. Definitely more of a winger. Not going to be in there. Cahill and Crouch. Now, I don't know if these have really changed in their ratings at all. I don't know if there's a... Is there a comparison button here? Probably not. But if I get the other screen on Footbin, we can definitely have a look and go with the ratings of what we've got. So Cahill as an 85 to begin with. We have the 80 pace, 85 on the shooting, 76 pa uh, passing, 81 dribbling. By the looks of it, 
were identical. So whether that is completely confirmed or they're just going what he's got, regardless, it's going to be a standard striker. He might be a bit expensive for what he actually is. Peter Crouch, always nostalgic merchant. Love him. Isaac's going to be a fantastic one. He'll be that gap. Normally what you find is you've got like, for instance, you've got an Mbappe, you've got a Haaland. Um, we'll have a look at the other top players as well who's changed in ratings. But then you kind of go down. You have then like... Who's even the mid-tier now? So like a, a Dybala's probably not. Like a Higuain. Not Higuain. I'm thinking of Martinez. So you'll have a Martinez. And then just underneath him, to start with, you have the Prem Tax. But then you'll have Isaac, who will be expensive. But it'd be expensive for the rating that he is, rather than necessarily being like an 88 or an 87. Um, you've got El Waran, always going to be fantastic. Big boy Ben's dropping down to an 86. He'll be one to look at more so when he gets an upgrade, if anything. Um, then we're coming into some icon territory. I will be interested at the end. We'll go through what um, Easy SVC do. Basically, if you've never been on this site, they have a meta score. So it's like run through an algorithm of who is the best striker by the actual card, if you get what I mean. Like, I don't know how they work it. There's probably an explanation somewhere. You got CR7 as an 86. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you've got Robbie Keane, always a great shout. Then if we go over to four, this is where we start to get more expensive. But it's an obvious one, like Liao is obviously going to be great at the start of the game. Govu, always fantastic. Smolarek, decent one as well. Pop coming in as an 87, 3-5. Again, more of an upgrade, I reckon, for her. We have got Berbatov again. Disappointed with him this year. Uh, well, last year, in fact. I, I really thought that he might have kind of just slotted himself in a little bit more. He might be better with the specific role. Like we see, he's got a great score of an A. But I don't know how usable he truly will be in this one. Alex Morgan, obviously, having the retirement. We are interested to see, do we go straight into like an end of an era for her? Or do they just give her the gold and just give her out of performance base cards will be very, very interesting. Oshiman, obviously going in, he's now in the Turkish League, 89-84. Target forward, solid. Dybala's definitely more a cam until he gets into them higher ratings. Peugeot, Suker, Zola, the obvious icons we know. Swanson now an 87, which is a nice upgrade. Again, more of a winger, if anything. Sonny Baby is going to be straight down the middle for me. 87 pace, 89 shooting. You whack a hunter on him. He's got the 4-5 as well. He's going to be an absolute gem going forward. Don't need the engine unless you're playing like left mid, left wing. But 95, 95. Good amount of dribbling. Passing's decent enough. He should have the finesse shot plus as well. He's going to be absolutely golden. We obviously have Brolin and Melito. Two very good strikers as we know. Melito, uh, Smolarek, Govu, Papin are always good starting strikers. We then have Lewandowski as an 88. I don't. I, ne I never really fancy him to be honest to start with. I like him once he gets into like the team of the season-esque sort of side of it. Or maybe just before but... Before that, he's just not my sort of striker, to be honest. We then got Owen, Shevchenko, closer. Bit of Griezmann, always going to be fantastic. And he does keep that finesse shot plus, which is exactly what we need. It's going to be a little bit less on the pace side of stuff. So maybe having somebody with a bit more pace around him might be a great shout. And can he play winger still? He is... Oh, we've gone up again. He's just a striker. It'll be interesting to see if they're right or not. We then got a new striker, 85-89, 4-4. Decent enough. Van Persie, obviously a fantastic one. Forlan and Tevez, you'd be lucky to get them at the very start. Same as Rooney. Once a month or two goes in and we start getting a lot of SBCs, team of the week, we then get into the road to the knockout. We tend to find then that they they become ahead of the curve still, but it, it bridges the gap very, very quickly. Diane still, well, Diane being an 88 now, in fact. Four-star, four-star, brilliant winger. Love Enzo. Gomez has his place. Again, he's going to be more of a target forward, hence his meta score being very high. JJ is more of a cam. Messi is an 88. Oh my, it is, it's official that both of them now are under 90 rated, which is just crazy to see already. Future, more of a winger. Bale will be fantastic wherever you go. He's going to be so expensive on day dot. You can just see that from a mile away. Same as Di Natale. He's an obvious another one that's incredible. We've still got two more pages. We've got Alan Shearer, we've got Lineker, Vallali, Sanchez, Van Nistelrooy, Voller, Papin, 
Okay, Martinez being an 89 as well. Very nice indeed. Kelly Smith, obvious good. Boutra and Dalglish. Sophia Smith, she's going to be expensive. Another one that is definitely going to be sought after with Eto and Cantona as well. Fernando Morientes should be decent enough. Then we get into some of the S's. This is where we really see the jackpot now. It's going to take you a lot to be able to get into this sort of category, to be honest. Like Drogba's obviously up there. Stoichkov. Surprised Janola isn't, but I don't know if that's because he's a left mid and maybe he would be better as a striker, but an interesting one. Sammy Kerr obviously going up to a 90 is going to be a great upgrade for her. Does she have the finesse? She does. Going to be a fantastic one. Then we got Harry Kane with a finesse as well, if they are correct. Burkamp never really started with him. Del P is always good. Raul is going to be fantastic again. We have a Lotta, 91 pace, 89 decent enough they're going for the engine i mean you could i suppose it gets more pace you've got the finishing well maybe when the hunter 99 95 could be a shout finesse shot plus as well which is always going to be lovely then we go into Vinny, more of a winger as we know hullet can play anywhere as we know box to box is going to be more uh, suited for him we then have harland we have thierry Henry. was thierry Henry a 91 last year it's because it's been so long. I thought it was a 90, to be honest with you. But it was a 91, so that's fair enough. Then we've obviously got Eusebio. We've got Kylian Mbappe, who looks delightful as always. We're going to go dead-eye with him. Obviously having a crazy amount of dribbling already. Paces at the 97. Shooting goes up to a 97. Literally, the only thing you need to upgrade with him is a physicality. And he's already a 5'4", so... Him, again, is always going to be absolutely clear. We then have Prinz, Gerdmuller, Pushkas, Cruyff, Ham, Ronaldo, and Pele. Now, obviously, when we look at these ratings, you have got the meta rating that you can go for. So you can kind of see who's in that S category, who's in the A+. Um, obviously, it does change a here bit because surely the S's go above. But you can start to see if there's anybody who's on the lower rating sort of side, but managing to make themselves in here. Like, obviously, Son and Liao are going to put themselves quite high on this list. So it's an interesting one to see who actually kind of algorithmically is better like we've got a few of them here we've got alvarez do we even miss alvarez must have missed him but another one that you're going to look for especially in atletico that could really drop his price and then we obviously have to uh i'm going to call him dov i don't know how you pronounce the name um anybody else that we've missed here then he's going to be one to look at like he lumps himself in with some of the big boys as well which is just perfect and then one more page by the looks of it, as we know, Hugo Ole Gunnar is not really going to be up there. Adeyemi, I suppose, is another one for a shout. But that's pretty much going to be all of the strikers. There's a lot of decent options we can already go for. Obviously, the top of the top is quite an easy one to know of. But when you go into that mid to low tier, it will be interesting to see who really comes out on top. And then we definitely will be looking into more of the roles, the inside forward, the box to box, the wide playmaker, the poacher, and see what really is the best formation and tactics that you can actually get in this game. But apart from that, let me know who you're excited for. Peace.